today's session of Divorce Court. Gerald says all the love in the world couldn't have saved his marriage. He says his wife Joyce only wanted money. She go for people with money. Well, you ain't got no money. She's a cheap trick. This is your wife you're talking about, the mother of your child. All that perfume making me nauseous. You're rather insulting. Is this the way it's been throughout the marriage? Yes, it has. Your Honor, I call him with three women, Diane, Sherry, and I forgot the white girl's name. She was engaged to Dwayne. She was pregnant by Mark, and she was going with George. Pregnant, engaged, dating someone else. What's wrong with you, Gerald? And I must have been a damn fool. Today, Joyce Wagner and Gerald Wagner face the judge in divorce court. All rise, court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Gerald Wagner and Joyce Wagner. I am advised that after 11 years of marriage, you file for divorce to end this relationship. Why, Mrs. Wagner? Well, Your Honor, we've been married for 11 years, but been separated for five. Separated five years? Five years. I filed for a divorce in 94. Um, it didn't go through because he never showed up in court. Um, we had disagreements, arguments. We, he was very ir immature, very irresponsible, and he's also a cheater. And Why I, do you say he, you said he's immature, irresponsible, and a cheater? Yes. Talk to me about the immaturity. Immaturity where incidents where, like, he's always a comic. Everything is a joke to him. My life and my family is not a joke to me. I'm very serious about my marriage, and I, when I got married, I got married under the circumstances I wanted to be together for 11 years, oh, not separated boy. for five That's years, boy. whatever. Why do you say it's a joke? It's a joke because he, when I filed for my divorce, instead of being a mature man and coming to court and do what he have to do, he proceeded not to come. He's well, that was the end of it. You said the marriage was, he was immature. In the marriage, he, he never took anything serious. He took our, our relationship serious. He, everything was, I mean, less serious, I'm sorry. Everything was a joke. When he was on our job, we both worked at the same place. You worked at the same place? Yes, we did. That maybe you were too close. No. We worked different shifts, and it, we, we didn't spend a lot of time together as far as we made that perfectly clear that we wanted to work different. I'm going to spend time you with darn you. You darn right, I'm going to be in the streets if I got a husband that's not going to be a husband. Oh Why should well, let's turn to Mr. Mr. Wagner, you said she was in the streets. What yes. do you mean by she was in the streets? She's a white. Was she prostituted? Pre she might as well say she was. She wasn't getting paid for it, though. Oh, ain't that Are you something. serious? Oh, let me Are you saying that your wife was out with another man without yes, getting paid for it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not no, getting paid he's talking for it. You had your say? Let me hear from him. She was a cheap trick. Excuse A cheap trick? Cheap trick. Define that. This is your wife you're talking about, the mother of your child. Yes, ma'am. She should have been a mother to the child instead of going to partying in the streets, line dancing and all that jive. Your Honor. Partying all the time. Partying all the time. She was a party animal. She wanted to be a party animal. She should have went on doing? disco or, or show or something. As far as you something. cheating, I'm the one who caught you with three I, women. I want to talk about partying all the time. Partying all the time. Saying she party. If you go to a party, the bar closed at 2 o'clock. She come in at 8 o'clock in the morning to, oh, my car broke down. You could have walked home. She was right down the street from the job. She now, you a, said she was at the bar at 2 o'clock. Now, you yeah. said the job. <laughs> See, that's about me, I know, I'm saying partying, Because he partying, can't think straight. Partying. <laughs> she I mean, honor, partying until 2 o'clock in the morning. All that perfume making me nauseous. Your Honor, can I say something to what you, What perfume please? is making you nauseous? Hers. Your Honor, can I say something? You're rather insulting. Is this it's, the way it's been throughout the marriage? Yes, it has. She wasn't home for me to insult all her. All these little cheap tricks. She was this not home for me to insult her. Exactly. So she go party and come in at 8 o'clock in the morning? Say, oh, my car broke down or this and Your that. Your Honor, if and I who's can home please with the child? say something. Me. I was home with all three of the kids. She had two twins that um, she had before I married her. She was pregnant when I met her. She was pregnant when you met her? She was yes, pregnant. Was. She was engaged to this guy named Mark. I mean, guy no, named Dwayne. She was engaged to Dwayne. I was not You was engaged, engaged because you gave him the ring back. She was engaged to Dwayne. She was but pregnant by Mark, Your and Honor, she was going with George. What does that have to do with what we're doing? This is what I'm saying. Engaged to Dwayne. No, engaged to Dwayne, by pregnant Mark. by Mark, and seeing George. And I must have been a damn fool. No, and no, then no. And here comes Gerald. Your Honor, no. Here damn fool, no. girl. Your Honor, can I say something? Well, this is what I, he I, enjoys. I, this is what he likes. Give me a minute to digest this is what all of that. Okay. And if I knew we was coming on for this, I'd bro, I could have had, I could have filled this place up with witnesses. So could I. So could I. So why would you stop, Mrs. Wagner? I had to be a damn fool, Your Honor. And you go back you to be are a, a, a damn fool. Yeah. Out the door if you use that word again. I'm well, sorry. 
Your Watch your language now. Something. I got you. Pregnant, engaged, and dating someone else. And That's then, a lie. And Gerald comes You're along lying. and marries her? You're lying. Like, yes, ma'am. What's yep. wrong with you, Gerald? He's an idiot. I mean, That's what problem. I'm saying. You, I agree with you. I was an idiot for being that something? way. She's you a had gold. more than Can enough clues that that was going she's on. She's a gold digger. When I met her, Yana, she had nothing. She had a dry Jerry curl, and she had mother had just put her out. And your she was had a dry Jerry curl. A curl with no juice. What was you she doing? You was at home money. living with your mother. At least I was I out was on my own. No, you hold had, on, hold on. Too many people got, talking at once. She got put out. You weren't out on your own. You got put out on your no, own. No, I did not. Pregnant. No, I did not. She was a bum, Yana. And you said she was a gold digger. What's a gold digger? I made you the man that you are. Hey, I had a little, I, I had a little you gold. You wouldn't have a job that you had, I had right now gold. if I didn't get it for you. I had a little Big gold. Set. She tried to get the little gold I had. Where, what gold you have, Mr. Money. Mr. I, had, I, had a, I had a little job. You didn't know she tried to get the money. He got an afro. This is the 90s. You need to have a ball. For hey. You. Get to life, okay? She Let me fake. Tell you Everything about honor. her is fake. Honor, no. No, let me, can fake. I say something? Only reason she ain't got the hair weave anyway, in because she ain't have enough money to get it. I don't need to weave no more, sweetheart. You grew them nails yourself? You guys reason, don't have much respect for each other, you do you? Them, you no, grew your nails I cannot yourself? say him for the simple fact he's sitting up here lying. That's why we're not together right now. Cheating, Your Honor, I call him with three women on the job that I got him with. Name One three woman, women. Diane, Sherry, and I forgot the white They may not appreciate you naming hey, them. We Sherry don't have is something though. after we got married. No, after no, no, we, no. After no. we got divorced. No, Your Honor, look. After so you decided honor. that you do all yours after marriage I, and she did hers before? No, no, You can call him right now. She Your Honor, that's a tale. Your Honor, can I say something? About the cheating, and yes, I will confess, I did go out for the simple fact. Party I get I, come home at eight o'clock no, in the morning. No, not eight o'clock in the morning. The time that he's talking about is, is while I'm standing here before you, is the honest to God truth. My car was messed up. If he was a husband, would spend time and do things with me. We had lack of communication. He would never be there for me. As far as like, he wanted me to have babies. Perfect example. You so you I got my twins. I got my. Stop, when I had my Mr. twins. Wagner, I can't hear but one of you at a time, please. When I had my twins, yes, he did meet me while I was pregnant. While you were pregnant. While I was pregnant. Engaged to somebody else. No, I was not engaged. So that part. He's just going by. Where did that ring Speculation. come from? Where did that ring come Joy, from? Joe, you didn't never see I'm talking ring. to the judge. I'm not talking to you. Well, look at the me, judge. Don't look at Your me. Your Honor, can I say something? About the cheating part, I never, ever cheated on him. He's saying that for the simple fact. No, wasn't I met someone after else. him. That's what he's holding. You met his... since you've been separated? Yes. And we you met someone each... else? Exactly. Right to this day, I am. And so is so he. So let me ask you something. You've been separated for five years. Yes. What took you so long to end this marriage? Your Honor, I filed for a divorce in 94. He wouldn't come. I didn't sign them papers. Why did you go to court in 94 you because she took She brought the papers to my job, and it was a stack of papers. I let my boss read them. He told me don't sign them because she's no. trying to take me through the ringer. And you were How standing was right there. How I take you to the ringer when everything was split down the right middle? There. Look, this is what no, I'm talking right about. There. This is if, exactly what I'm talking question. about. Question. If you wanted this marriage over, is she such a gold digger? Hmm. Thank Such you. a tramp, as you thank called you. her. Cheap no, you didn't call her a cheap trick. Thank no, you for reminding thank you. me. Such a cheap no, trick. No, I called like myself. I filed trick. myself. My God, she's talking about, oh, we don't need him. We can go you through it what? ourselves. Your Honor, I went to look to this man that he's talking about was a prosecutor. He hadn't even had the, the legal knowledge to file the divorce. He filed for this after I filed for this, and we still haven't been in court. That's why we're here today. Well, you're here today. Exactly. That's and why we have five years is long enough. Because I took the step You told me to I would never give you a divorce. I, you would never Please. marry Robin. That's exactly what you said. She's talking about a gold digger. She's the gold digger. Okay. Where's the gold? She go what? for people after. She go for people with money. No. She was well, you ain't got no money. Look at your money. But where your money at? That's what I want to know. Where's your money? Show me your dollars. Stop one moment. I'm going to show because you'll try to take it. Please. Shut your mouth, woman, is not appropriate okay. language in this courtroom. You will respect her for a few more minutes. Is my, is my turn? I don't know whose turn it is because the two of you are talking. When Divorce Court returns, the judge questions Gerald about Joyce's need for money. But you keep saying she's a gold digger. I didn't read anything in these papers that told me that there was anybody with a pot of gold. Now, where's the gold? If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Gerald Wagner, who says his wife Joyce was never interested in him, only his money. She was messing. She called herself messing I didn't tell you to talk. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. see? It's a mockery to him, is it? I joke. didn't tell you to talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seems a mockery to both of you. But I'm not here to play. Now, obviously, five years has gone by and you didn't end it. I'm trying to figure out you want to end it now. I but you keep it. saying she's yeah. a gold digger. I didn't read anything in these papers that told me that there was anybody with a pot of gold. Now, where's the gold? That's what it's I want to know. Pocket. Show me the dollars. Where they at? In your pocket. So what do you mean when you say she's a gold digger? 
far as she liked guys with money. I, I mean, when, when, when I right, met her, she had no nothing. Mrs. Wagner. Damn, she's oh. See? I'm sorry. If you, I'm sorry. That's I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm we had sorry. problems. That's just how it was. Just I'm like sorry. that. I'm not here to play games. You think I came all the way from oh, Ohio to play games be, with you, you Miss Wagner? Quiet, please. Boy, crazy. Let That's why Mr. I'm not Wagner right finish talking. You're not with me now because I don't want to be with you. Hey. I left you. Ooh, you didn't you leave me. Thank you, Amen to that. Okay. You not say Amen. Amen to that. It's a blessing that you ain't with me. You Everybody wants to go to was. church this morning. They amen. <laughs> Lord, I'm trying to act. I mean, it's Your today Honor, Monday. They refuse to go on Sunday. What's going on? Your Honor, I'm asking God Your Honor, for can forgiveness can I explain to you my gold digging needs. reasons? Go ahead. I want to hear this one myself. She was messing around with a guy down, named Cliff. Oh, Miss Wagner, goodness. maybe you'll hear it if you close I'm your sorry. mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, you don't have to tell me anymore. I understand why the one reason why this marriage broke down. Neither of you listens to the other. Oh, no. She you probably haven't happening. heard a word she's ever said to you, and you haven't heard a word because he's ever said to you. I cannot hear her. You know what? Like Stop! Years. That's why. Every time I say something I'm doesn't sorry, mean Mark. that I need you to respond. Okay. Now, move on. What, what kind of goal are you digging for today? What do you want from him, or what do you want from her? What's the goal we're digging for? Well, see, listen, I had, um, when she was at work, I went out on my own and, and went. I didn't have enough money to buy the set straight out, so I rented it and brought it home. She got home, the furniture what was set? there, a living room set. I rented it in my name and I paid for it. I struggled to pay for it. You tell and then I bought That's a, another lie. And then I bought a dinette set and I struggled to pay for that. You're on a head like I was up, not in existence. He's telling you had quit, the story. She quit when working we... so she can take care of the kids, but she took care of the party in centers. No. Anyway, let me tell you something. After we separated, I, let, I gave her the living room and dining room set. She took it. And she put it in storage because she didn't have nowhere to go. She wanted to stay with her Wrong, sister. That's a lie. And she called me at work and said, You're I can't afford it. You get a chance her. to tell me your side, but okay. may I hear his? She called me at I work and said, she, You know what? If the two of you agreed, we wouldn't be here. Exactly. If the two of you could get along, we wouldn't be here. Well, Yonder, we do get along. He's just sitting up here lying right now. If the two of you told the truth to each other or even knew what the truth was, we wouldn't be here. So it's a given that you don't agree with what he says, and he doesn't agree with what, he, what you say. But you know what? I haven't heard what either of you has to say. Exactly. So let me get an opportunity okay. to decide who I'm going to believe. Okay. All right? Thank you. And I struggled to pay for his living room set and dinette set. I finished paying it off, which was in my name. When we separated, I let her have it. She didn't have nowhere to put it, so she put it in storage. She wanted to stay with her sister, and I wanted to stay with my sister. She called not me. Not the gold digger. You didn't go stay with your sister. You know, not the money grip. Not the man, not the man with the pot I mean, of gold. I didn't have, I didn't have no house to go right, right away. I want to stay with my sister. Anyway, she called me a couple months later and said, oh, I can't afford to pay the storage bill. If you go, if you pay this much, you can have a living room set. I went and paid and got the living room set and brought it to me, and I gave it to my aunt because I didn't want no memories of her. It still smelled like her. See? Immature. So, that's that's it that's did. how, that's how she told you if you was. pay for the storage, see, if I pay bill, for you can have the I can go get it out. It was in her name, you and I went and got out of storage. Wrong. When we agreed to move, he took he put everything in storage and said until we move, because we didn't say that we was gonna ever like get back together. We already knew that that's what we wasn't gonna do at the time. He found the place before I did it. Just so happened that I had went over there and seen that the furniture was there. I didn't put the stuff in storage because how could I get it if he's not there to help me take it there? He so took you're everything. saying that Mr. Wagner put everything in and storage he in had, his name? He got everything that he wanted and left all my children's belongings. Self -made storage. We can now, call. Mr. Wagner, I'm gonna ask you to be quiet. You gave me your version. May I hear from her, please? He got everything out that he wanted as far as to put into his apartment, as usual, thinking about himself. And as far, as far as me, like, being out, y'all know I love my children and everything. I, I, I would never I, do nothing like you that. You in the streets, and whether you were or weren't, the marriage is over. Okay. You've been gone five years. Exactly. It's over. Exactly. Tell me. He put the furniture in storage. And got out he put what it in he, his name, and he got out what, what he wanted he to get wanted out. For what himself. did he get out? He got out the living room set, the dinette set, which is true that he said, and everything else. What you left. mean, which is, and he left the erect. Everything else, my kids' beds, everything. So we had to start all the way over from scratch. Did you get all of the furniture out of storage? No, I didn't know, because I left her with the stuff since she called herself um, going to take care of the kids. Well, I had one kid. So now we her. don't know who really put the furniture in she storage the furniture. and how much the was put in there. In there. If well, I, if I had in there, you want to. How much did you pay to get it out of storage? Uh, it was uh, 150 one time and like uh, almost like a, almost the same the second time because she let it go back up. I don't know why she ain't had no money. She was staying with her sister. Her sister ain't paid them but $30 for rent. So how much was the living room set worth? Um, I paid, I rented it, so it was like $500. And they doubled it. So this rent. was a set that you didn't even own when you put it in storage? No, it was still I owned it. Rent? It was paid for. It was all paid for. I'm telling you, okay, I paid so double for it. When you left, how much was it worth? 
No, but, still the same? No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, it wasn't no, tore wasn't. up. It was still in good condition. It wasn't Otherwise, worth what we, it was never I, yeah, after you we got paid it for and it. let your little leech woman and her kids tear it up. That's better than a jailbird. That's all right. Fool. Yours ain't far, huh. ain't okay, far from here, though. Okay, now here we go again. Stop. If she was stopping interrupting, in stop the... interrupting me, I wouldn't say stuff to her. I'm how talking much, to you. I'm here to talk to you. How much is the living room set worth? Uh, right now, I mean, as we speak? Yes, as we speak. About $100. What would you say? It's non-existent. It's not even there. The kids tore it up. It's, it's not even there. It's over my So are we fighting over a non-existent item? No. So Your tell Honor, me what it is that you want from me. The item is non-existent according I to you. I want to get on with my life. I want half of what I put on to this furniture. We, we brought a house together and got all this together, both of us. It wasn't just you. So, so don't even tell sit me up what you want, like it was. Mrs. Wagner. I want half of what was on the couch and the dinette set so I can go on with my life so and what's get him on. Half is about... Got your shovel out trying to dig. Please. I don't need you to dig. $700 is what you're asking for? Yes. Joe, they're all yours while I take a break. <laughs> Cora be at recess. When Divorce Court returns, the judge renders her verdict and an update on the case of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin. When a person stabs you, cuts that. you, they're saying that I don't want to be bothered with you. Stay away unless you have a death wish. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Gerald Wagner, who says his wife Joyce would rather spend his money than spend time being a wife and mother. Back in the matter of Joyce Wagner versus Gerald Wagner, I'm glad to see that you had a moment to calm down while I was out. Neither of you has really given me much information about the value of this furniture. The storage bill, you really didn't come here with evidence to establish your case. You've given me a lot of information about the marriage and the fact that you don't like each other, <laughs> but not enough evidence for me to decide who should get the furniture that doesn't exist or how much one should pay. Um, the only evidence I've had or testimony is that the value of the furniture is about $100. The value of it was not the $700 that you paid for it, Mrs. Wagner. Um, furniture, unfortunately, loses its value very rapidly once we take it out of the store. The other issue is the furniture was in storage, and you admit that you didn't pay for it, Mrs. Wagner. And Mr. Wagner, you only you paid some of it, but you didn't pay the entire storage bill because the rest of the furniture was sold at an auction. So the dinette set doesn't exist, nor does the living room set. The best I can do is what has been put before me, and you decide that. So given the evidence and the state of the evidence, my judgment is this. The husband shall pay to the wife $50 for one half the value of the living room furniture that you gave to your sister. So ordered. All rise. <laughs> when Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin. If you already knew where he was and you knew he was with another woman, and he had separated from you. Yeah. Why did you have to go see for yourself? Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Herman Benjamin said that his wife Monique's temper has brought their marriage to an end. Well, let me ask you a question. If you already knew where he was and you knew he was with another woman and he had separated from you, yeah. why did you have to go see for yourself? I wanted to see because... No, you wanted to fight. She came over there on a seek and destroy mission. When a person stabs you, cuts that. you, they're saying that I don't want to be bothered with you. Stay away unless you have a death wish. She admitted she threw away all his clothes, and he was in court to get back $500 so he could buy new things. You're saying that some other woman bought those shoes for him. That's why you put them in the garbage can. No. I cut them up. Oh, my. Yeah, $135 pair of shoes. She cut them up. The judge ordered Monique to pay $200 to Herman. After court, Herman and Monique agreed to try to get along better for the sake of their child and say that now that the marriage is over, they get along better than ever. I think it was fair. 
he ended up paying, even though it wasn't what I exactly wanted. Ver verdict was fair that I um, pay her $50. You think that was fair? It was all right, yes, fair. I so still think she out of her mind, but. I plan on getting married. This is what I'm here for. I wanted to get whatever I got out of this, added towards my divorce, and file again. Oh, I think I'll get married again to my girl that's at the house waiting on me now, Robin. I'm engaged to someone right now. See, happily, not to the big fat bull. <laughs>